Conquer Librarian is a 3 3 for 4 that does nothing. Yes. <laughs> it's not playable. But a, lo a 2 3 looter for 3 is good. Here we are. I'm going to lead off with a thought. See, we, we play tested this matchup earlier, and we saw that even with um, double life mains on me, that this mono like that can overcome. So Alec put the fake out on the Thoughtseize. Mm -hmm. It's a pump fake. Gonna play uh, Priestling Captain on Derek's side. And whatever removal spell we found, it kills Priestling Captain. Here's three mana for Life Pain Zombie. Best card in this matchup. Revealing a hand of. That's a Reckoner. Two Reckoners. <laughs> Gonna take one. Can't tell the rest of the cards. Pacifism. I love it because... Oh no. I was thinking that pacifism... I, don't, I still don't hate it. Because pacifism answers Reckoners. Uh, but what I love about... Remember that pacifism from Innistrad that was like, if it's a human, it gets bigger. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. So. Me and my man think alike here. Mm, nice. <laughs> Garrett showing that uh, the mono white devotion deck that he played tonight. There's not a lot of options. <laughs> he also you basically have to run pacifism. So Alec, double mute vault draw. He's got a demon in play. He has a pacified life pain zombie. He lays so underworld for devotion. Underworld connections on his swamp. So in pretty good spot here. Gosh, I do not want this game to end in like this match in like ten minutes. Then we have to watch more Joe's deck. I like Joe's deck, but I don't want to watch it. I would play it. I don't want to watch it. So in a turn, Alec would draw a card off of Underworld Connections. Two mana for Bile Blight targeting Boris Reckoner. Seems like a perfect answer to that situation. Attack, attack for six. Derek is going to. Trade his mute vault for it, but don't worry, still had all these desecration demons. Yeah, still, uh. There is Eidolon of Countless Battles, which is slightly too little too late. So, uh, to say that Alec Myers runs good mm -hmm. whenever he plays Magic the Gathering is quite the understatement because how many Bob Whites are in this model black deck? This is a carbon mm -hmm. copy of the. That would be one! This is the carbon copy of the. List from the top mm, eight. That would be one. And here's the Great Merchant finish you off. That is one in the main, one inside. Who the general's going to be. But I do know that I'm going to be Dark Depths Thespian staging for the win most of the time. I don't know how to win. <laughs> I just play Rampaging Baylos and Avengers Endicar, I guess. Alright, so back underway here. Alex starts off with a turn one thoughts. He's revealing. Brave Spear, Precinct Captain, Brimaz, Banishing Light? I have no idea what went. When Derek removes a card from the game, he literally removes it from the game. It's actually out of the store. He gives it to his friend, and that friend takes it and sticks it in their collection. <laughs> it's no longer part. He plays the turn to Precinct Captain, but Alec ready with the answer with yeah. a Devour Flesh. So and he here's a Life Bane. This is like the perfect. Yeah, he didn't take the Brave, so he had to do that. Take the brim ass here. Like this is like literally the nuts for Alec, isn't it? Like thought season yes. to devour flesh into it's life main. No yeah, pack rat's kind of perfect too. I guess the I guess the turn four demon would be the best yeah, thing. To turn five pack rat and activate. Yeah, or enter turn six the great merchant. Yes. Here's the great merchant. <laughs> Still had all these great merchants. See, the chat is now talking about um, my commander. I want to, you know, who I want my commander to be is Haze, Hazes on Tamar, which is this card from Legends that no one knows exists that basically makes a 1 1 sand token, sand warrior token for every land you have in play. Because that's more fun. Because I don't want to build the Child of Alara 5 color deck for two reasons. Number one, I don't really like Child of Alara as a general. That's not the kind of magic I want to play. And number two, I don't really like having access to five colors because it's overwhelming. Yes. It really is. So I either want to go Jund or Naya. It looks like Alec is just uh, 
professional way against them. Yeah, I've quit, I I've quit paying attention because this game's been way over for a long time. Um, build it like a salt loam. Yeah, I have life from alone at Seismic Assault. If you follow me on Twitter, at Zach Sells Magic, you'll notice that I recently, this week, got uh, my original copy of from Exodus of uh, Seismic Assault from Cape Fear Games because I won a giveaway and I got $10 store credit, and so I bought that Mana Bond and something else I can't remember. Later, guys. I'm not finding fault, but I do always think it's funny when, uh, when people join the chat and they're like, what round is this? <laughs> if only it was clearly demarcated on the... <laughs> Alright, so uh, back again. We went an entire uh, portion of a round without seeing Joe's deck. Yes. He's back, uh, and he is all tied up. He got game two against uh, Skibby off the back of uh, two life pain zombies and a whip bringing back a life pain zombie. Uh, so... Super Friends is trying its hardest there. Core Clan. Three off the exchange. Just give me Clan and land first. I don't know. Uh, no, I'm not I was trying to induce, but now I can't. Of course, my Rampager that he discarded. Yep. There's the Life Bane Zombie. I'm going to take care of it. I'm feeling a hand of Chain to the Rocks, Mortars, and another obviously non creature card. So be able Temple to Garden. Uh, you can make a 4-4 four, four ooze here and get past the... Uh, yeah, Joe cannot block here. Mm -hmm. Of course, we can just see the, the classic, you know, fundamental play of attack first and then play a 4 mana spell. That's your follow-up. Mm-hmm. If you're Joe here, you can't afford to block, I don't figure. You did. Wow. I don't think Joe knew that there could be two activations there. Or maybe he's maybe it's his hand where he just feels like he's going to get blown out. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like uh, the Naya deck is pretty explosive. Not that this is actually one of those draws, but I mean, Gore Clan, Storm Breaths, um, Zinagos, like damage adds up quick. So he may just have a hand where he feels like I'm not going to be able to race with this guy, so I'm just going to get some tempo out of it. I mean, he could also have a removal spell. Um, like it's not. Uh, the end of the world because the life bane zombie did get a card out of Casey's hand. It got the carry it did, and um, having a removal spell would still keep this as a one for one exchange on all accounts. But I don't think that that was the case. I think it was just a simple, simple oversight by Joe. Casey's gonna quickly the shove. Must have been another land. Here is a Zenith Ghost. Mm -hmm. So uninterrupted, we're gonna be bashing for six. And it feels like that ooze is going to eat a downfall, which it does. But still serving for two with the Seder token. Yeah, that's a very good sign for Skippy um, that the downfall ate the ooze instead of the Cynicos. Yeah. Or a bad sign in that he has a backup. Right. He has a redundant. Uh... It's also pretty good for Skippy here, as he's playing against a, a draw that leans heavily on that mana confluence. And Casey's the deck that can take advantage of that extra 2, 3, or 4 damage. Very much over, so, especially since he's left his core planer in Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So make another token. Joe gonna pump the... pump the bow blight, but... choose to not do anything. So there's an advent. Is that end of turn? Yep. Just choosing. Why didn't we do that in combat? Uh, there's sorcery speed things that Casey uh, can do, like Nizzy Mortars and Chain to the Rocks, and he wants to get those and off the table. Oh, that's a good point. We did know that he had uh, Chain to the Rocks and Nizzy Mortars. Well, here comes a Corsha right on time to brick wall these two, two, twos. No, but he's got Chained and Mortars in his hand, right? So you just chain the token, mortars the thing, and serve in. Force Joe to stone rain with this mutable he just found. And that's what I do, right? 
Yeah, the top end of Joe's deck is cards that you... Uh, no, you, you mortars the Corsair, then you attack in, give Joe the chance to make a mistake, and then you can chain the token at your leisure. And we don't even know that... Like, I, I don't know if Joe's feels like he's forced into blocking right now, mm -hmm. but if he does block, I mean, Casey could, of course, blow him out with a uh, core planer and pager with mm -hmm. his um, meter vault. Joe has shown the proclivity to want to block multiple games over the course of the evening. So what is this card that Casey's got that's so relevant here? Is this Mortars? Yeah. That seems like the obvious play. Now you can attack. Yeah, the, the card that Mortars is for uh, is not as good in this matchup. Uh, Blood Bear, of course, mm -hmm. uh, gets outclassed by... And you definitely chain here. Core Flame right? Pager or anything. Alright, so Casey's got to be at least content with where he is. I mean, he's playing off the top of his deck, but he just scried a, a dead card to the bottom. Joe has nothing on board. Is at 6, facing down at 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, you got to think that Joe's just playing off the top here, too. Oh, you got to love that, too. So, this seems to be like a removal spell, but who knows. No? And there's a Pelucrida, so Casey representing Lethal here. Joe drops down to... Uh, Three here off the Underworld connections. Well, find something that's not life band zombie. He needs heroes downfall, or ultimate price, or doom blade at a minimum here. Yeah, pack rat, life band zombie. None of these do this. Casey can fight for three. He can't do it. So Casey moves to the there. finals. I'm going to go ahead and let you know right now that the top two guys will be chopping. Yes. Because they are the num number one, number two rated choppers in the <laughs> entire store. So, guys, thanks for watching. Remember, this will all go up on YouTube tomorrow, uh, more than likely, at uh, youtube.com slash ZachSellsMagic. Follow me on Twitter at ZachSellsMagic for interesting matches news throughout the week. Funny one-liners, you see pictures of, that Garrett has made out of MS Paint of me. Um, more importantly than all of that, like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash ZachSellsMagic. Updated daily with magic news and content. Pretty good aggregator of uh, important stuff in magic as well as giveaways information about the stream and things like that and follow, obviously you're watching on twitch so click the follow button it's over there somewhere below to the left of the video window and you'll get an email anytime we go live obviously we do fnm every week at 6 30 p.m eastern here from lost legion games in south charleston west virginia uh, but sometimes we do stuff on the weekends or wednesdays so you want to get an e email whenever we go live there um, and don't remember, we'll be back next Friday with FNM. Next Saturday, we'll be in Richmond, Kentucky at the PTQ with Affinity for Cards. So make sure to swing come by sell the booth. Us cards. Yep, both Gary and I will both be there. So come sell us cards, get some sweet trade, uh, things of that nature. Look for look for my cards on uh, on TCG Player. Support the stream that way. Um, you can follow me on Twitter. You can follow for at, at unders vivid underscore meadows. Angry rants and. Magic the Gathering yeah, personality. He can be upset at various <laughs> magic celebrities. Um, but thanks again for watching, guys. Uh, we will check you guys next week. Have a good weekend. We'll talk to you then.